In this video, we'll look at how to use Groove Machine's MIDI and EQ editor window. This window can show you several things, including the synth editor, the drum sample editor, and the MIDI EQ editor. Toggle between these functions using this button, and the button tells you what you're switching to, not what's currently displayed. The window is divided into three sections. The top section is for MIDI operations, the middle section is for the EQ, and at the bottom you can see the bank and program of the part that's currently in focus. To adjust the EQ, first select the part you want to work on, then enable the EQ, then you can adjust the five EQ bands as needed. Here's a trick to help with this. Solo the part you're working on, then start playback, then make your adjustments. You can also unsolo the part and continue working if you want to hear how your changes will sound in the mix. When you're satisfied, you can select another part and keep going. The top section of this window is used to configure your MIDI controllers, and just like the EQ section, the settings made here only affect the part that's in focus. Now the MIDI specification covers hundreds of possible controllers and the types of data they use and so forth, but Groove Machine boils it down to the four most important controllers, Velocity, Mod Wheel, Aftertouch, and Pitch Bend. Velocity and aftertouch are controlled by how you press the keys. Pitch bend and modulation are usually controlled by a wheel or a joystick. The great part about Groove Machine is you can route these controllers to a huge number of destinations. For example, if you want the modulation wheel to control cutoff frequency of the filter, click on the destination window and select cutoff. If you reopen the destination dropdown, you can see that your mod wheel can be routed to a huge number of parameters. And keep in mind that each part gets its own MIDI routing, so you can hit the mod wheel and have it drive a ton of different controllers spread across the different parts. The amount knob controls how strongly the destination is activated. Each part can have its own EQ and MIDI settings. For more great software, check out the ImageLine website. And for more great tutorials, check out StreamWorksAudio.com.